Hello guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I'm going to start end-to-end uh, -end data science project implementation series. So in this series, actually we'll be learning how we can implement end-to-end -end machine learning project, deep learning project, computer vision project, NLP project, generative AI project, and so on. That means we'll be exploring all the domain. What are the domain actually you have inside data science? will be learning each and everything so guys in this series i will be starting with the basics implementation then i will go uh, till the advanced implementation part so in advanced implementation actually i will also use uh, different kinds of ml ops tool uh, for implementing these kinds of end-to-end -end projects and this project would be guys completely industry ready so we'll be writing modular coding here and we'll be integrating lots of uh, actually ml ops technology also so that you can also directly mention this project in your resume and apart from that, if you want to implement any other project with the same concept, you can also do it. So make sure guys, you complete this series till the end. And after that, I believe you will be able to implement any kinds of data science related project. And guys, if you need this kinds of content more in future, you can support the channel. You can subscribe the channel. You can share this video with your friends and family so that also they can get to know these kinds of uh, content is going on in this channel. So please try to support the channel. Uh, if you are supporting the channel, so it will give me more motivation to create these kinds of content. And if you need anything else uh, from my side, you can let me know. I'll also try to create that content as well. So guys, in this video, actually, we'll be implementing one basic uh, machine learning project. See, as of now, I already know you already implemented so many projects in your Jupyter notebook, whether it can be machine learning, deep learning, NLP, CV, right? Any kinds of project you have implemented in your Jupyter notebook or let's say collab notebook. But we don't know how we can convert these kinds of notebook project as an end-to-end -end pipeline, right? So uh, this series will give you the entire idea how we can create the pipeline. Pipeline means we'll be creating the entire trading pipeline as well as the prediction pipeline. Even we'll be also creating the user application so that so that user will get one web interface and they can uh, give the data and they can get the prediction. Okay, so everything will be implementing in this series. So no need to worry. So here we'll be exploring different different kinds of web framework like Flask, Streamlit, Fast API. Okay, so different different kinds of uh, web framework will be also exploring in this project. Even after the implementation, we'll be also learning how we can deploy these kinds of projects in the cloud platform. That means we'll be exploring different different cloud platform like AWS, Azure, GCP. So all kinds of cloud platform will be learning, and we'll be also learning how we can deploy these kinds of project as in CI/CD. Okay, that means if you want to deploy this project uh, CI CD continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment how it can be also performed so everything will be exporting in this particular series so guys as I already told you uh, here we'll be implementing one machine learning project that means end-to-end -end machine learning project so before starting this project guys uh, first of all let me uh, sh show you what are the let's say component will be implementing uh, through the entire implementation that means the complete uh, project uh, actually overview then I'll be starting with the implementation and again, I'm telling you guys, I'll be starting from the basics, then I will go till the advanced part. So this is our first actual implementation. So in this implementation, actually we'll be using one uh, easy problem statement. Later on, I will also show you how we can also solve different kinds of complex problem statement as well. So guys, you can see this is the complete project agenda. Like what are the things we're gonna perform through the entire implementation. So the first thing I'll be discussing about the project introduction, definitely you should know about the project introduction. Like which uh, particular problem statement you are going to solve. Then I will also show you how we can uh, create a GitHub repository. That means here we'll be also doing the version controlling, like uh, we'll be committing our code in our GitHub so that we can perform the code management. So this will help you a lot whenever you will be working in the industry with a team. So as a developer, actually, you always need to update your code to the GitHub so that other developer can refer your code and they can also implement along with you. So that's why we'll be also learning how we can use this Git and GitHub uh, properly in our implementation as well then we'll be creating the project template okay because i always uh, follow this step guys whenever i implement any kinds of end-to-end -end implementation i always try to create a project template so this template uh, gives me actually ability to organize my code let's say i want to do the code management and all i want to let's say write an efficient actually end-to-end -end pipeline so this template uh, helps me a lot usually so i'll show you my template actually i usually uh, prefer whenever i implement any kinds of project if you have any other template idea, you can also create it. Okay, there is no issue with that. Then we'll be set up in the projects as well as the requirements because so whenever you implement any kinds of machine learning, deep learning, NLP, whatever project actually, you usually use uh, different different kinds of framework. So here we'll be learning how we can set up these kinds of framework in our environment, how we can create the requirements file, how we can create the environment and all. Everything will be running in this section. 
Then we'll be starting with the logging, utility, and exception module because these three modules will help you to debug your code going forward. Because we always need to write the login functionality in our code as well as the we also need to use the utility related functionality in our code so that so this utility will give you the code reusability let's say functionality so that you can use the same function again and again right then we'll be also using exception module uh because see whenever you are implementing any kinds of project definitely there would be some exception and how we can handle these kinds of exception will be also learning inside the exception mod module as well then we'll be learning the project workflows that means here we'll be creating like different kinds of uh, like folders and file there would be lots of folders and file now for the first time you need to know which folder actually you should uh, change first which folder you should change last okay that's how which file you should change first which file you should change last so these kinds of workflow you need to know so we'll be discussing in the workflow section as well then we'll be implementing all the components in our jupyter notebook first of all because i know that you are already familiar with the jupyter notebook implementation right so if I show you the notebook implementation at the very first time, so it would be more clear in your mind how we can use the same code for the pipeline implementation. That means for the modular coding implementation. Okay, that's why I kept this section will be first of all implementing all the components as our Jupyter notebook experiment, right? Let's say data indexation, data validation, data transformation, model trainer, model evaluation. Okay, so this is called actually component. Okay, this is called actually entire training pipeline. So these are the separate separate component we have to implement so we'll be implementing on the jupyter notebook then we'll be trying to convert all the component as our modular coding implementation okay i hope it is clear then with the help of all the component we'll be creating the entire training pipeline that means training pipeline means it's a step of execution first of all data indexation will run then data transformation will run sorry data validation will run then transformation will run then model trainer will run then model evaluation will run that's how it will execute entire pipeline okay and that's how actually we'll be completing the trading pipeline as well then we'll be also learning the prediction pipeline that means whenever user will come they want to predict something on top of the new data that time prediction pipeline would be executed and apart from that we'll be also implementing user application that means i already told you we'll be creating web application uh, for this project so that user can get one beautiful web application and they can get the prediction then at the last of the implementation i will also show you how we can deploy this project as a ci cd okay with the help of docker in the cloud platform so guys this is the entire video agenda so i hope now everything is clear now let's try to see the project introduction which particular problem statement we are going to solve here then we'll be starting with our implementation now guys you can ask me what would be the prerequisite to start with this implementation so i'm expecting guys you are already familiar with python programming at least uh see inside python programming you should familiar with something called object oriented programming okay that means op because here we'll be using op concept uh, for implementing the entire project we'll be creating the class and methods right so for this op is required then i'm expecting you are familiar with basics of machine learning concept at least regression part inside machine learning because uh, the problem will be solving this is a regression problem statement then you should have one aws account because uh, if you want to deploy this project so here i'm going to deploy this project in the aws cloud uh, in future i will also show you how we can use azure cloud gcp cloud okay all the cloud will be exporting but the first uh, cloud will be using aws cloud if you don't have the account so try to create one account initially it will give you 300 dollar credit and this is enough for you then uh the last thing guys i'm expecting your dedication so if you don't have the dedication so definitely you will uh, face difficulty so put your dedication on whatever things i'll be implementing so just try to implement along with me so that each and every concept would be clear in your mind and if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in the comment uh, i will try to uh, solve that particular doubt so guys the problem statement will be solving in this uh, uh video actually the problem statement name is wine quality prediction so i think guys you already have familiar with this data set right wine quality prediction data set so this data set is already available inside kaggle website if you just search wine quality data set kaggle you will get this data set i think in kaggle uh, you will see lots of competition is also going on uh, with this data set wine quality data set right so uh, we'll be using this data set because i already told you uh, first of all we'll be st uh, starting with the very basics problem statement then we'll be starting with the advanced one because i know that there will be so many learners they are starting uh, new this kinds of project implementation right but some of the let's say people are there they're uh, quite advanced in this field so i have to take care for uh, all of them right that is why i'm starting with the basics implementation so that uh, those who are starting with uh, this kinds of concept newly they can also cope up with the concept right in future i will also implement advanced kinds of implementation so that 
so that everyone can understand these kinds of concept. So guys, here is the data overview. So in this data, actually we are having some features like fixed acidity, volatile acidity, then citric acid, then residual sugar. Okay, so these are the actually uh, features we are having based on that. What we have to do, we have to predict the quality of the wine. So this is the simple problem statement. And this is a regression problem statement because you can see the quality is a continuous number. And whenever we are predicting any continuous number, it's a regression problem statement. But whenever you are predicting any category, that means it's a classification problem statement, right? So here we'll be using one regression uh, machine learning model, okay? So with the help of this regression model, we'll try to implement the entire project. So guys, the first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a GitHub repository for this project. So let's open up our GitHub and try to create one GitHub repository. So guys, if you're not familiar with Python and if you want to learn the Python, if you want to learn about modular coding and all, so I think you already know in my YouTube channel, I already created one playlist, the complete Python programming course. So here I have covered each and everything you need to know to master the Python. So here I've already covered the modular coding concept. So if you're not sure about the modular coding, so please try to check this playlist. And if you're also interested in Genetive AI, if you want to learn Genetive AI, I also created Genetive AI playlist as well. Apart from that, guys, you can uh, also subscribe my another channel. So this is my another channel. So here also I created uh, lots of content related computer vision, NLP, end-to-end -end implementation, okay, Genetive AI. So both channel actually you can uh, subscribe so that if I'm uploading anything, you can get the notification.